Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today, because I'm trying to save Chisel, not Chisel, but yeah, Chisel number two, because I let him bleed out last episode. At the end of last episode, he kind of bled out. I'm gonna try and fix his bleeding right there. He's losing a lot of constitution, that's no wonder that he died. There you go. There, all fixed up. We're good, we're good. But at the end of last episode, we got to kill a bunch of animals here. And uh, don't tell anybody about that, because they won't understand, but that's what happened. These guys, well, I'm gonna, I was going to say that they attacked us, but no, they didn't. We attacked them first, but they were aggressive, so... I am out of ammo. Isn't that absolutely awesome? Yeah, we should be okay. Let's see what I can do here. Let's give her all of that. Uh, let's look. Yeah, we need more ammo. We're good on this front. We should be okay here as well. Not not very okay, but we, yeah, it's going well. It's yeah. Okay, it is what it is. Oh boy, that ammo. That ammo is very expensive as well. Not very very common. Not very common. So let's take their stuff. Let's keep exploring Hollywood because that's where we are and trying to clear out these grounds. They are the house or the home of. Um, Apparently some guys who hate pigs in general. Pigs, that's slang for cops. And they think we are cops. Well, we kind of are. We're rangers. Um, but, yeah, we kind of are. It's just that, um... We don't really want anything to do with them at the moment. It's not like they're they're being mean or they're being evil or being, I don't know, criminal or criminally oriented or anything like that. So, let's try and disable that alarm. Can he? He's gonna take a, uh... Drink it to the face, because he has one. Damn it. Really? Whatever. Whatever. I got the... I need this. Where is it? I don't know. The, where's the trinket that lets me... I've got a trinket. Okay, I can go here. It's not going to make things any easier. Uh, there's a trinket here. Oh, there it is. It's this one. Wait a minute. This gives lock picking. Oh, this gives safe scracking as well. We're good. See how li likely it is. Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, I could save. Yeah, sure. Nobody cares about that alarm. And besides, I think I can disable it. Yeah, let's go ahead and hopefully not mess this thing up. Again, the alarm is activating. Who cares? Failure right there. Failure. It's fine, though. Let's look ahead a little bit. It looks like an exit point over there, doesn't it? Oh, it's a lantern. Interesting. Don't critically miss that thing. Don't mi don't fail anything. Oh man, oh man. Just looking. At oh, look at this. Seriously, why are you gonna be like that, man? Ugh. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, we're in in Hollywood. There's the HCC, which is fighting actively fighting the um, God's militia. So as it is, she was zapped. Yes. Uh, as it is, the God's militia. Do not live here in Hollywood, as I said at the end, well, the last episode I said that they were here, but no, they are not, at least not as I, as far as I can tell. They might coexist with the HCC, which, which stands for Hollywood's Chamber of Commerce. So, how the hell? Aren't Jesus, why? Why? Come on, come on, shine your dicey light on me, please, please, come on. Oh, but just people watching at home, why do you do this? Why do you do this to me? Oh, come on. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you two more chances, and if you miss... Mm, I don't know. If you miss, I will punch you in the face. Is that, a, is that a deal? Is that a deal for you? Come on. Is he gonna succumb? There you go. See? That's all I needed. Got weaponsmithing, toaster repair, mechanical repair. This is the best item in the world! That is that item right there. Best item in the world. Anyway, let's... Yeah, that is a really good, really, really good item right there. Who has the bag of... I don't have the bag of things. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I should be dropping because my... Oh, actually, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you got overburdened because of uh, the minus strength that that uh, item gives. Anyway, let's keep going. There's a lot of tombstones around, as you guys found out uh, alongside me uh, last episode. But I am just looking around trying to figure out who exactly is in charge of this place. We got Johnny Maloney over here. Hi, man. Name's Johnny Maloney. I need a grave dug. Hey, what the hell? Who dug up my grave? Just been those damn beastie beasties. What are beasties? Don't know what they are exactly, but they're sure making a mess of the place, tearing up the graves, eating the bodies. It's terrible. I can barely hold them back. And even at, uh, I ain't even at in a few days. I'm so hungry. I could eat a painting of a sandwich. <laughs> Do you need help? 
Well, why not? You look like you're handy with a weapon. You cleared out this little infestation of mine. Doing, don't go messing with untouched graves. You dig up any of my customers and I'll give you a couple of shots on the double ought buck. Of double ought buck. Come back to me. Uh, with all them, when uh, with all them vermin cleared out and all my uh, graves unmolested, and I might throw in some extra. Yeah, already taken care of. Not the graves though. Whoa, that's great. Let me get you that reward. Now, where did I put it? Uh, so you dig graves, huh? That's my job, digging graves. Make coffins too, if you want, if you need one. Just tell me how big you want it and pay the price, and I'll dig you. Uh, and I'll dig you something nice. Dig you? You're gonna dig up a, a coffin or gonna make them? What, Graves? The one right behind you! Nope, didn't see a thing. Well, you keep an eye out for whoever did this. Okay, so yeah. Good to see you, John. All well with you. Oh, he knows you. No. God's militia is giving me too much work, but everything's fine otherwise. Your time will come. Hope so, those bastards. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I will find them soon enough and we'll start killing God's militia. We haven't seen them all that often. We gotta level up right there. What's that? Oh, yeah, it's our, it's our signal right there, our code, or I don't know what the name of that thing, our number plate. Uh, that's, that's, it has a name. That thing has a name, but I don't know. Identify or something? Are these guys playing around? Well, no, a man and a woman. Okay. Woman and a man, I guess. <laughs> Another man and a woman? No, a woman and a man. Oh, as it turns out. Chesbot. What the hell are they on about? They're crazy. Yeah, they're smoking a lot of stuff, probably. Because that's something that we've heard. Also, okay, so yeah, there's something over... I think it was over there. Was it over here? Yeah, I think it was over here. There's an entrance right there. Let's go here, though. Look ahead as we pass. Try not to something or, or, or other. Yeah, they're kind of... I'm not sure what they are. MP balls? What the hell's that? More lambs to the slaughter. Like a sheep farm run by wolves. Hi, Flo. How's it going? Okay, Rangers, what'll be? And sorry, I ain't on the menu. No? Well, why not? What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Rangers in Hollywood. Well, how about that? Y'all come here to make a cowboy picture? I sure came to the right place to be discovered. What do you mean by discovered? It's, it's true. Lots of boys and girls got discovered at, Ch at Schwartz. Plenty of kids who, pay the, who had their first Hollywood meal in Schwags have ended up head, headlining the Chinese or hey, Heidi's Hideaway after some like Swifty picks them up. But there's just as many who, well, Mr. Schwag don't like to talk about that. Do you know anything about Duke Schwag? He is the boss man, goes by Duke because he thinks he's John Wayne, but he ain't no cowboy pil pilgrim. What do you know about Swifty? You know, it's pronounced Swifty, but it's spelled Wolf. <laughs> Watch out for that guy. Why? Is he dangerous? I can't say no more. Tell, meet me in the cemetery. You want to meet me at the cemetery? I just back down the street. You can miss it. Some of the girls from Heidi's have, are having a funeral today. What do you know about Heidi's Hideaway? I got a little joke about the gals at Heidi's. Wanna hear it? Okay, here it goes. Dance a little... Uh, the da they dance a little on their left legs. They dance a little on, on their right legs. And between the two of them, they make a decent living. Get it? No? You got no sense of humor. Yeah, that's a bad joke, man. That's a bad joke. What do you know about Manny's Chinese Casino? That's the big time in this town. You make it to Manny's, you're a star. You want a good time? Get yourself a ticket. It's worth it. Just watch out for Manny's second in command, Groman. All hands and that, uh, all hands that guy. What do you know about Groman? He's Manny's beat boss. Guess he does his job okay, but he's sure he's, cr he's a creep. Don't know why Manny keeps him around. What do you know about Manny Wong? Gentle Giant of Hollywood. A great guy, but don't try any funny business at this place. He'll break you in half. Why doesn't Mr. Schwag want you to want to talk about people that are not discovered? I just say that where there's sheep, there's wolves. And leave it at, at that, shall we? Now, you need anything else? Wolves. I'm not saying anything more about it. Who was Flo again? That's me. Your, your harsh house hostess with the mostess. What the hell? Thanks, Rangers. Y'all come back now. Okay, she's going to the cemetery. We're gonna follow her in a little bit. But let's first explore this thing. We got people selling stuff. We got women's and Swifty. I've not heard of that guy. Is that a wolf? <laughs> is that how your name is spelled, man? I don't know. Let's talk to the waitress. Why can I get you, honey? Something from the drugstore? Mm, what do you have? Great. Have a look at the menu. Uh, I don't sell her all my crap 
and she doesn't she doesn't sell anything interesting. Forget about that. Bye bye, man. Girl, I guess. Uh, so Wowza, where did you spring from? What a beauty! Are you talking to Diego? Yes, he is. He's a beauty, all right. But out, jerks! I'm in the middle of a very important meeting here. You're. Say, that's quite a face you got there, kid. Anyone ever tell you you got star power? I mean it. You really got something. Listen, I'm in the middle of something right now, but here's my card. Come to my office. We'll talk. Maybe do a little screen test. See what happens. Okay? Great. Ciao. I think Diego is interested in that. What's your job? My job? What does it look like, chump? I'm a star maker. I make stars. You ever been to the Chinese casino? Half the girls and boys in that floor show come out of my Rolodex. And half the kids at Heidi's, too. I'm the guy with the talent for spotting talent. Now, do you mind? Thanks. Kids, boys, girls? Kids equals boys and girls, which equals talent. Get with the lingo, chumps. This town runs on beauty, and I've got the best in the business. Uh, tell me about Heidi's place. A high-tone joint. Torch songs up front, sultry seductions out back. You gotta have style to make it at Heidi's. Just having boobs, butt, or big equipment ain't gonna cut it. Tell me, uh, so tell me about this Heidi. One tough customer, that one. A hard bargainer and a shrewd businesswoman. But she needs to be. Without her grit, Hollywood would have been burned to the ground by those God's militia chumps long ago. Wait a minute, is she part of the HCC? She probably is. So, the guy sh said hookers, cracker, no, I don't know what he said. <laughs> uh, the guy, when, when I asked him, uh, somebody, when I asked him about uh, the HTC, it said something like, that's not Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, it said something else. Uh, tell me about Manny's Chinese Casino. The biggest show palace in all the world. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Manny's is class all the way. So both Heidi and Manny's is, uh, is, is good, okay. And tell me about the God's Militia, is that good as well? The pistol packing priests like to kill sinners. And as far as they're concerned, everybody except them are sinners. Yep, pretty much. Been fighting the HCC for years. I just try to stay out of the way. HCC, huh? The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Closest thing we got to a city council around here. Keeps us safe from the militia. Heidi runs it. Oh, Everybody there you go. else kisses her ass. There you go. That's what I wanted to know. So who, tell me about Manny, though. The gentle giant of Hollywood. Runs the cleanest place in town. And always has a good word for everybody. Sounds like a good guy. I think you could be the next big thing. Parasite. Ciao, baby. Shut up, priest. No, priest. Why did I... Brother. <laughs> Why did I say priest? I guess he's probably a priest. Uh, or oh, a father? I don't know. Hi there, welcome to Schwags. Yeah, I was gonna say brother, but somehow it came out priest. Uh, anyway, soda jerk. Howdy, folks. Uh, can I get you something from the jerk store? Uh, let's see. Oh yes, you sell interesting stuff, but nothing that I want right now. I'll come back later if I want anything. Bye bye. Let's check over here. We got an intercom stuff situation here. We can break down the door, uh, but let's save the game instead. What do you want? Can I go in? No, I can't go in. Can't hack that thing either. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, uh, bye bye, I guess. Let's go to the cemetery because we got people in there waiting for us. Well, we got a girl in there waiting for us. That's gonna be Aza Hell. I was gonna talk to her. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. Are these, were these guys back here before? I guess so. Am I going the right direction? Uh, yes, I think so. I'm kind of disoriented right now. I think it's this way. Yeah, there it is. That's a cemetery right there. Does it say it's... Uh, is it... Is this... This is probably a, a famous cemetery in Hollywood. I have no idea. So where is uh, Lo? Was it Lo? Flo? Yeah, Flo. I think it was her name. Where is she? Is that her? No, that's Johnny Maloney. Johnny Maloney. Or however you pronounce that. That's Flo over there. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's you. Thanks for coming. Sorry I couldn't talk at Schwag's. But Duke only likes us to talk about happy stuff when we're on duty. What do you know about Truck's Drugstore? I hate that it be it's become such a pit of wolves, but a girl needs a job, doesn't she? At least I can try to tell the new kids who, 
who to watch out for, right? Even if sometimes they don't listen. Oh, see? Look at what you did. I'm crying now. A little advice for you. Don't go into Schwab's office. He gets mighty mad when, when people do. Don't go peeking in his lockbox either. I saw him cut a man's hand with clean off for that. What do you mean, wolves? They're all over town, feeding on the poor lost sheep who come here dreaming that Hollywood dream. Slavers, pimps, psychos, I don't know why the HCC doesn't do anything about them. Old Heidi oh, Hot Pants always says she wants Hollywood to be a clean shop, but the scum like uh, but the scum are still here, year after year. What do you know about Heidi Hol Hollander? It's the first time I read her last name. I don't like Heidi much, but she runs a clean place and she keeps her boys and girls happy. A kid could do a lot worse than work at Heidi's. What do you know about Heidi's hideaway? Not as big as the Chinese casino, but they offer... That's Mang's casino, I guess, or Mally's, or... I don't know. Uh, but they offer more services, if you know what I mean. Dancing and cabaret up front, and then in the back, you can have your pick of any boy or girl you saw in the shop. Best brothel in town, or in the world, actually, I bet. If that's what floats your boat. What do you know about the HEC? The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Most businesses in uh, in town are members. They cheap in to pay for the street cops and the costs of fighting the pistol-packing priests. They're, they're pretty good at keeping the tourists safe, but they don't seem to care much about the street kids. What do you know about God's Militia? God's Militia, they call themselves. I call them nut jobs on the hill. They think every sinner in every world should be chopped up into little pieces. Well, if killing's a sin, they're the biggest sinners ever. Come, come, come down, auto... What? I don't understand this. I'm sorry, my, my lingo is crappy. I don't understand what this means. Come down, auto Griffin, Griffith Park, just about one... Oh, out of... Out of... Sorry, yeah, my bad. <laughs> out of... Yeah, come, on, come down out of Griffith Park just about a month ago. Killing everybody they see and taking their stuff. A crusade, they call it, and taking teeth. It's straight up robbery and murder. They're the ones that should be chopped up into little pieces. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Glad you came up to find me here. Gotta head back to Trogs now. Shift's about to start. Yeah, you go, girl. You go. Don't get your boss. Don't get yourself into trouble with your boss. I'll be on my way, because I got a lot of stuff to explore, and she's still zapped. She's not for very long, though. Uh, is it zapped? It is. Zap. With an exclamation mark. There's something over there. What is that? This sign depicts a delicious looking donut. Donut Will East uh, Cupertino, California. That's how we roll. F Officer the Lamb. Howdy, folks. How can the HSP help you? Uh, anything we can help with you with? Thanks, but we got it covered. Really? Okay. Thanks again, and be careful the streets out there. streets will run red with your blood, copper. Shut up. Don't get us into trouble, man. You know, if they if they attack you for that, I am gonna I'm I'm gonna make sure that you leave to see their death as well. You now nobody's gonna attack you for saying anything. Sh so yeah, don't shut up. Just say your nonsensical stuff, Burton. Let's see what do we have here. Another thing to go in. Let me just sit Love a little bit better. Commerce. Don't sit well. Welcome to Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway, where your pleasure is our pleasure. I'm Heidi Hollander at your service. Oh, hi. Uh, hmm. Let me go ahead and talk to her. Ah, it's you again, Rangers. Please forgive my brusqueness at the cemetery. It's hard to be pleasant when one is grieving. Oh, it was you! What can I do for you all? Are you here for business, or pleasure, or both? Um, I can hear one of those. Uh, so it was her. I didn't catch her name, though. The Tan Girl. Um, we're not really looking for pleasure. I, I don't know. Do you need any help? You want to help me? Isn't that sweet? Sadly, though, the hideaway has all the talent we need at the moment. And the HSP seems to have everything in Hollywood well in hand. <laughs> Unless you were thinking of storming the Bastion of Faith and sending those god militia madmen packing... I'm afraid I have nothing for you. Actually, I was thinking of that. Tell me what you know about God's Militia. They are the bane of my existence. For years, they were too busy fighting the gangs of Los Feliz and Glendale to bother us. But now that those territories are pacified, they've declared us their new crusade. They raid us constantly. 
breaking through our walls, plundering our supply caravans, killing without mercy. I have lost friends, employees, and it is killing our businesses too. The tourists who are our lifeblood are afraid to visit. We are withering away. Everything I have worked to create here is threatened. Well, I won't let it happen. The militia want to erase us from the face of the earth. I'll erase them first. I don't know how yet, but I won't rest until the bastion of faith is a smoking wreck. I think the key for your plans is just fall, fallen from the sky into your lap, girl. Anyway, what do you know about Glendale? No, actually, let me task, talk about the Bastion. The militia turned the old observatory into a fortress. I think we saw it before. And let beasts and mutants run wild in the park below it. As protection against attack. And as a challenge for the fanatic fools who want to join their ranks. The Gauntlet of Samson, they call it. What about it? A trial by combat, named after their goon of a messiah, Red Samson. Aspirants who want to join the militia must fight their way up through killing fields of mutants and monstrous beasts to the observatory. Excuse me, the bastion of faith. Tell me about Red Samson. Some street crazy with a sledgehammer who saw a videotape and thought he found God died in a gang fight about 50 years ago. The only thing more pathetic than the story of his life is the fools who believe he was the second coming. Yeah, sounds like they do. Tell me about Glendale. Were they harassing him, both the Lost Fellas and, and Glendale? A wild, barbaric place across the river to the east. I don't know much about it, and never had the inclination to learn more. What about Los Feliz? A tiny little place that only exists so that the aspirants who come to the Bastion for the Gauntlet of Samson can have a place to sleep before starting up the hill. What do you know about the HSP? Is that the cops? I think are the cops. The finest police force in the West, oh, with the possible exception of the Rangers, of course. I'm flattered. You will not meet a more dedicated group of men and women. I swear they are never out of uniform. Heidi's hideaway. May I recommend enjoying one of our icons, each hearkening back to the golden age of star making. On the female side, we have our blonde bombshell Marilyn. Our brunette playmate, Raquel. Our sweet soul sister, Pam. And our beach bunny, Bo. On the male side, we have our brooding rebel, Dean. Our perfect gentleman, Carrie. Our smooth operator, Billy D. And our suntan surfer, Hasselhoff. <laughs> and if none of those strike your fancy, or if you prefer the darker side of things, Mistress Veronica awaits you in the dungeon below with a more dangerous selection of companions. Now, which shall it be? I didn't say anything about that. I don't want to pick any of these. I, I, I'm not looking for this sort of stuff. Not right now, anyway. Um, so, what can I ask her about? Mm, actually, some of these names, like, for example, Raquel over there. I uh, don't know, but Marilyn, kind of obvious. We got... Oh, well, Pam, the only Pam that I remember. The sweet soul sister, that would be, like, probably Pam from The Office. Uh, we got Dean over here. Remember, I remi Reminds me of um, the guy from uh, Supernatural. Uh, and uh, Hasselhoff, of course, is David Hasselhoff, probably. Suntan Surfer, eh, it's probably him. Uh, I mean, from Beach uh, Bay Baywatch. Uh, let's see, so... Are you sure we can't help? All right, all right. There are one or two things on my plate that require a steadier hand than the HSP can provide. One will test your diplomacy. The other will test your martial abilities. I'm good if on both fronts. If you take care of the first for me, then we'll see about letting you take a crack at those pistol-packing prees. Are you interested? Hell yeah. Marvelous. Then here is the first one. My most trusted lieutenant, Mistress Veronica.
Lady of Pain and Ecstasy has been acting oddly lately. I have seen similar behavior before, and while I could not believe it of her at first, I worry she may be in love. And a prostitute, a dominatrix no less, in love is of less value than one unattached. So, my quest for you, find out if I'm right, speak to her, offer to help, and see if she admits her condition. Oh, do I really need to do this to be able to kill the... I probably don't. Hmm. So what is your job? I am the owner and madam of the hideaway, Heidi Hollander. It's my pleasure to provide pleasure to all who come through these doors. We're here for business. Hmm, that's too bad. I would have much rather given you pleasure. What can I do for you? Hmm. Well, I think that is going to be that for this episode, but because I'm kind of curious actually about what happens, I'm going to choose one out of here. I'm going to go with Pam, because why not? Let's go with Pam. And see what happens and see if I have to pay a lot of scrap for that or what is going to happen. Where is Pam? You'll find what you're looking for in the back room. Oh, so I can Enjoy. ask. Enjoy. Hmm, okay. Uh, sure. Come back when you're looking for some entertainment. Bring your dangers. women before me, whore driver. And I will choose who I will spare. <laughs> Man, that guy. Why don't you go talk to them one by one? Wait a minute. They won't bite? I... But... But... <laughs> What if they laugh at me? Oh, Arden. They're very well trained. They never laugh at anybody. No, nah, nah, I couldn't. Really? Well, you're going to have a good time then. With Pam. I don't know. Uh, hello? Hi? No, that's Marilyn. No, that's not his type of stuff. Yeah, he needs a he needs a sweet soul. That we will soothe. No, this is the man's side. Actually, nah. Mm. Nah, he's not that kind of guy. He's not the Billy D over there, the smooth operator. I wonder what that means. I don't know what that means. We got Pam over here. Okay, let's have let's have some fun. Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> We're not taking everybody in. That would be kind of rude. Oh, he's going in alone. Although the night terror is probably gonna go in uh, in with him, which is kind of appropriate, I guess, because he's kind of all brutal and stuff. Let's go ahead and, and have a chat with the girl. Hi. How you doing, baby? You're looking pretty good. You're ready to take your fill. Sure. That's what I like to hear. That's a million and a half, she says. Oh boy. You're looking pretty good. Oh. Is that for free? What? Just like that, huh? Okay. Well, my curiosity has been sated. I thought we were going to pay have to pay something or I don't know. But that was that was that. Well, it's got his feel. A meal and a half, apparently. And uh, that is going to be that for this episode. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, this has been Wasteland 2, Director's Cut. And I am, as usual, Colonel RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.